Well, this morning's a new morning. I don't know what day it is. The last day of calendar said last day of July, 2012. My granddaughter Kimberly will be moving in with me tonight. I want to go get her. She can't walk as far. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little story that happened to me when I was 12 or 13. Uh, kind of lead in with a, well, you'll get the picture of that lead in. As I was walking one morning for pleasure, I had my father walking along. His hat was thrown back and his voice was a boring. As he approached me was singing this song. You know that farming town will be your new home. Well, that leads up to the whole story. That, that gives a little pre-log there. Put the guitar down, get the headache. The, uh, we weren't rich with poor people. I told you that before. But he bought a cow. I think he paid $50 for it. And he bought it in from somebody in Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Well, we lived in Farmington, Arkansas. Little two lane, some narrow highway with little banks on both sides, and little ditches and fences and wild grass. But anyway, he had to get the cow from Prairie Grove to farm. It's in about 12 miles, something like that. And uh, who did he pick on? Me. Yeah, I mean, this is the story of my life, or rather, uh, why me, Lord? Uh, so he, he said he'd pay me. I said, okay, I'll do it. So I hitchhiked, cauterized the farmer. I forgot how, but I got down there and I got the cow and a short rope on it. And I brought it back 12 miles down the highway. Now that took all day. Now the cow wanted to go one way, I wanted to go the other way. I would kick, I had a stick and I'd beat her on, beat her on the ankles and make her jump a little bit. I'd twist her tail, I'd pull her nose, I'd pull her ears, but she was determined to stop and eat ever so often. And uh, she didn't care which side of the road it was on along, she got to walk back and forth across the road to eat on it. Of course, once in a while, every hour or so, a car might come by, so I'd have, a, they'd have to stop and honk, get her off the road. And I imagine that laughing at poor old me with a stick and chasing that cow, trying to pull her with a rope or twist her tail or She'd get loose sometime and go back the other way. She didn't want to go to Farmington. Maybe she'd heard some rumors about Farmington. But anyway, it took me most of the day. I finally got her home. I don't know who was the most aggravated, me or her. But Dad paid me. <laughs> he gave me 50 cents. That was, I guess that was about the hardest 50 cents I ever earned in my life. Uh, Taking about 50 cents, so I do remember one time or several times. Every spring we had a big circus come to town that was uh, located in a parking area between Federal and Farmington and a little called Sawmill Junction just outside of the University of Arkansas there. But they put set up the circus at night and they would take little suckers like me and pay us 50 cents a night for helping pull things around and pick up trash and feed the cattle and the, the elephants and uh, you know whatever else went with it called rust about I think or something but if we worked all night till daylight we got 50 cent piece and uh, of course with 50 cents back then you could ride lots of rides and buy a lot of popcorn and snow candy and stuff like that but anyway uh, I don't know, it looks like my downfall was 50, 50 cents, I think. I seem to get that quite often. And this is a little short story to brighten your day. Wake me up. I've been out working the yard until it got too hot. I fear a little less enough of that old stuff. I notice I get a, a dizzy spell with my bald head in the sun. So I put my hat on one while to keep me going. It would, wouldn't hurt to pour some water on it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to take up all your morning, just this little silly story, but that's the way life is. So, goodbye. <laughs>